my students. I'm your teacher, once again, Jacob Dixon, and welcome to another lesson in nonsense. And before we take a ride on the Jake Dixon sailboat, I want to let you know that this is a new week. You can tell because I'm wearing my world famous white long sleeve shirt with a brown stripe in the middle and my hair is perfect. Now, let's go to the island of short U, okay? The short U that makes the uh sound, okay? And this goes in every single short word with the exception of the ones with the magic E at the end. Let's explore them, okay? This one. Cut. I need to cut my hair. Now, if we add an E at the end, it's cute, but we're not talking about the magic E today, okay? So, cut. But, as I said before, but, we're not talking about the magic E, we're doing short U sounds. Cut and but. This one. Shut. Shut the door. It's too loud, okay? And this one. Up. The opposite of down is up. And unfortunately, when you put these two words together, it creates a very rude sentence. Shut up. And we've told our children to never say this to each other. However, adults say that to each other all the time. Okay, so figure that out. So we have shut and up. Here we have bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, right? And let's put another letter at the end of bus. Bust, okay? Now, what we're learning is that the short U makes that sound, the up sound, in every short word that we can find, regardless, okay? Now, here's one that you've learned how to mispronounce over and over again, and I'll bet that a few of you are still making the same mistake. So let's take the word bus, right? And let's put a Y at the end. Now, this should be pronounced as bussy, okay? That's the act of you're doing a lot of work right now. Don't bother me. I'm very bussy right now. I don't know. I've been to a lot of meetings in my life, but I missed the meeting where it was decided that when you put a Y at the end of bus, right, the U turns into a short I and the S turns into two Zs. It turns into busy. No one told me that. I was unaware that there was a meeting where that was decided. Okay, but no, it is bussy. I'm very bussy right now. Leave him alone. Don't bother him. He's very bussy. Okay, and while we're still on this word bussy, here is another word where we have been mispronouncing all our lives. It says bussiness, not business. Once again, this is not an I, this is a U. Bissiness. No, bussiness, not busyness. Bussiness. This is not a Z. This is not an I. It's bussiness. And to throw back from a previous lesson, remember I taught you the difference between meant and mess? When you put that at the end, it shows you the state of something. If you are in the state, the act of being bussy, you have bussiness. And you can also be in the act of bussiment, okay? Bussiness, bussiment, and bussiness, okay? Doesn't matter. My bussiness is my bussiness. This is not your bussiness. My bussiment is my bussiment. It's not your bussiment. There you go. Now, your homework, ladies and gentlemen, is to try to convince others to pronounce this correctly. Bussy. Bussiness. The <laughs> bussiness, bussy mint. There you go. And you don't have to do any writing. You have to just have to do some convincing and let me know how it went, okay? So this is your teacher, Jacob Dixon, from Lessons in Nonsense, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take it easy. I got 240 high tops, 460 laces. As hemp as I copped out the factory straces. She came real basic, no smear on faces. Cake to crack shells, blue drinks and biscuits. The dip to knock boots, but that's none of your business.